of T-I-M-E. I think it's important that we all understand that. These are all ministries. And I can tell you, as a, as a non-believer in the earlier part of my life, it can be very frightening not knowing what's going to happen and where you're going and why we're here and how does everything work and what's the answer. So reach out to those people as best you can. It can be pretty distressing. And be aware also that when you start a new ministry, it's like when you were learning to ride a bike as a kid. Do you remember that? You ended up with the grazed knees and the bits of skin taken off your ankles and you fell over. It was a messy process. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be a disaster. It's certainly not going to be a disaster. But be aware that sometimes it's not linear and you find different ways of doing things and different ways of, of tweaking or adjusting what you're doing when you start a new ministry. But keep going. Don't be discouraged. We need to be Jesus' hands and feet in this world. I think an analogy is if we're driving into town this afternoon and we wait till all the traffic lights are on green before we start, we're never going to get there. So don't wait for all the lights to be on green. The other thing you'll find is that Jesus will meet you in those ministries where you need to be met in the most profound ways. So ask God what he wants you to do. And if there's something on your heart, make a start now. Perhaps there's a relationship that needs fixing someone you haven't talked to for a long time. Maybe you want to move closer to God, but you haven't taken that first step. So, did Timothy get to Paul before winter? Well, we don't know. But it's important for us to learn from that. We don't know how long we've got. We need to take opportunities. We need to make the most of relationships and trust God with the journey. I'll close with a prayer. And perhaps you'd like to echo this in your heart. So shall we close our eyes and bow our heads? Let's pray. Lord, forgive us for the times we haven't listened to you, for the opportunities we've missed to do your will. Help us to cherish others, to build relationships, and to accept you and to do your will in this world. Help us to understand the brevity of our lives and that the time for us to serve you is now. In Jesus' name, amen. Respond to Simon's amazing message. Uh, Continue to worship our Lord. Just to know that um, the song is the king of my heart, which is all about having Jesus Christ as our centre, as the king that we, that fills our sails, that... uh, gives us our our purpose.
Amen. Just before we do the Eucharist, I thought I'd let you know that on the 7th of August, we're going to start offering it up the front as well. So you can still have the little cups and stuff, um, but we'll also be doing it up, up the front as well if you want. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, the true and living God, through Jesus Christ. You are the source of life for all creation, and you made us in your own image. In your love for us, you sent your Son to be our Saviour. In the fullness of time, he became incarnate and suffered death on the cross. You raised him in triumph and exalted him in glory. Through him, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your church, and made us your people. And so we proclaim your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. To you indeed be glory, almighty God, because on the night before he died, your son Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper, he took the cup. When he had given you thanks, he gave it to them and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. 
poured out for you. Do this as often as you drink it to remember me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come in glory. Therefore, loving God, recalling now Christ's death and resurrection, we ask you to accept this, our sacrifice of praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us in our celebration, that we may be fed with the body and blood of your Son, and be filled with your life and goodness. Strengthen us to do your work and to be your body in the world. Unite us in Christ and give us your peace. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. And why don't we kneel as we sing the Lord's Prayer. So, this is the body of Christ, broken for you. And this is the blood of Christ, shed for you. And like usual, we've been praying before the service, for the service, for everybody here for God's protection and blessing. And we've also been praying for words of knowledge for prayer ministry, and I'll just read out what we've got. Somebody with toothache, somebody with a headache in their left temple, somebody with a hard heart that God is promising to soften, somebody who can't sleep, just the word well-being, and then a word finances, Somebody with heaviness of spirit, and God wants to give a fresh touch of the spirit and fill them with joy. Somebody with physical heart problems. Somebody wanting to find out what their spiritual gifts are, and the image of a ladder is associated with that. And then the scripture, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden. Take my yoke upon you, and I will give you rest. So if any of that resonates in your heart, we'll be praying over there for you. And it's not just if your situation is coming up on this um, list we've read out. If you just want a touch from God, if you want to be prophesied over, if you just want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, we'd love to pray for you. And um, I'll just say a blessing before we get up and sing our final hymn. Lord, I pray that you bless us with the wisdom of using the precious time you've given us well that we serve you diligently and faithful all the days of our lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please stand and join us with our final hymn for today, Be Thou My Vision. Be Thou My Vision.
Join us for ice creams and morning tea. Oh, thank you.